Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. So, um, a lot of people have asked me questions and have told me about the, um, the thing under the, uh, rocks. They're like, oh, there's a, there's a new bridge. There's a new thing under there. And I just want to clear it up and kind of, uh, I, I'm going to go over to the winter area and just kind of show you some things. Um, some things I'm going to need are different kinds of trees and stuff like that. So, uh, first things first is you can clear out these rocks, hold on, these rocks right here. You can clear these out with TNT or you can do the, the little glitch like I do. Select a small floor and get yourself inside the driver's seat of a car and just kind of rotate yourself into the rocks. There we go. Alright. So now, rotate. Oh, come on. Rotate. Rotate. There we go. And I think the way it works is if it has any kind of slight movement or knocking, it causes it to think that it got blown up by TNT. And in turn, it it moves. It, it, it disappears. Thinking, oh, I must have been hit by TNT. TNT. So, that's one way you can get rid of the box. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just do a rotate right here. Kind of freak them out a little bit. Do another rotate. Come on, there we go. You might be able to. There we go. And you don't need all the rocks cleared. Just a couple. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. Anyhow, okay. So right under here. Here, let me let me toss out my axes just in case I uh, I glitch under the map. Do, 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 do. So right here, and I'll I'll position myself like if I were um, going under the map for the entire uh, the the power. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. And turn. Oh. Oh, 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 come on, come on. There we go. So, right here, this bridge right here, this used to be up above, and what it was used for, it was used to stop the rocks from going into the passageway. All the rocks would get stuck up on top, you wouldn't have to blow them up, you wouldn't have to wait, and it allowed passage into the winter area without really knowing, like, hey, you need to get TNT, and this, that, and the other. That's the whole purpose of this, so. A lot of people ask me questions all the time, like, Code, what is it? Is it, is it something new? Does Defaultio know? Yeah, he knows. He made it. <laughs> so, um, hold on. Am I, am I going to turn the right direction? Oh, no. There we go. Oh, oh, I made it. Nice. Did I actually make it? I did. I actually made it back out. That is a first. <laughs> nice. So, uh, what was the winter event? The winter event had a bunch of fir, uh, glow fir trees out here. They looked kind of like these trees. Oh, the memorial down down inside the memorial for uh, Tick. They they were over here for the winter event. And what you had to do for the winter event was get yourself an axe, chop down uh, a bunch of fir trees, chop them up and then throw them in the drop-off over here at the cabin. All right, so this cabin right here, it used to have a, a little gauge on the front of it, a little red gauge, and each person's gauge was different. My gauge didn't look like your gauge, uh, and depending on how much you had put in, that's where the gauge was. Once it was all the way full, you would get the badge. Uh, so what you do is you lift up this thing right here, right? And then you would grab tree limbs and you'd start tossing them in like this. Yay! See? A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people who are new and have, weren't here during the event. This is, this is how you would get these skis on the back, I think. I think it was skis. I'll have to go check my inventory, but yeah. Anyhow, you would put a bunch of wood down there, 
And the more you threw in, the more glow wood you would get out the opposite side. Now, it had to be glow wood to count towards the full amount. Like toward, towards the, the gauge. The gauge would not move unless it was glowfer. It had to be glowfer. Anyhow, once you'd thrown wood in here and it disappeared, you could come around here, go through the front door, and. Oh, no, I don't have enough. Alright, well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I need to put in... Okay. Let's try, let's try a big tree. Big part of the tree. Come on. Come on, come on. So I heard something today, and I don't know, I, I, it sounded like Steve Harvey. I don't want to claim it was Steve Harvey, but he said... Uh, do you remember all those days that were really hard on you and you thought man this is I'm 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 not gonna survive this, this is the worst day ever all those hard days well guess what you survived them you have a 100% survival rate if you're listening to this message right now congratulate yourself because you've made it through all those days all the good and the bad you've made it through so congratulations congratulations to you I'm congratulating myself. Good job, because there's been a, there's been some hard days and some hard news in the past. So, and I think the older I get, the more appreciative I am that I understand that that by living and surviving, I'm blessed. I'm I'm gifted for for having lived this long. I'm happy for it. So, and you should be too. Uh, anyhow, sorry. Uh, this right here, this is pine wood on fire. You can't grab it, you can't pick it up, you can't do anything with it, but... Oh, and by the way, um, let's go ahead and drop this. There is a, like a barrier or a wall right here that prevents stuff from going through. Like, you, you can't, you can't push through it. So, if you take your axe, go into the fireplace, Drop it down behind. You can kind of push this on out. Oh, come on, come on. Get on out of here. Go on. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Get out of here. There we oh, 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 almost. Come on. I guess we gotta come this way a little bit, don't we? Alright, come on. Hold on. Maybe if I pick it up like a like a golf club. There we go. Now, um one thing that makes this a little bit easier is make sure that the ball when you when you pick up your axe. Make sure the ball is somewhere centered on the axe because the the place that the force comes from, the reason that it flies around, is it's coming from that ball. That ball has what's called a, a body mover on it. And if that body mover is off-centered, then it's going to be pushing from where the ball is, not from where the axe is. Oops, I stepped on it. I stepped on it. There we go. Come on. Alley oop. Come on, why, why are you doing this to me today? Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, no, come on up. Oh, it fell down. <laughs> All right, tell you what, let's uh, let's just leave it inside because I can't I can't push it out for some reason. It's taking too long. So that was from a pine tree. A pine tree and a fir tree kind of look the same. So let's go grab some cherry. 
cherry tree. She's my cherry tree. Chop it with an axe. Make planks for me. Toss them in the bin. Hmm. Me. T. We. Lee. I don't know. I was trying to. I was trying to figure out a rhyme there. And it didn't work. It didn't work so well. So, uh, grab some cherry tree. Oh, 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 oh. And I think I'll just grab this whole thing. Let's uh, let's just grab this whole thing up. Come on. Okay, man. Is that is that going to fit? I don't think that's going to fit. Uh, by the way, you get no benefit from from doing what I'm about to do. There's there's absolutely no reason to do it anymore. Oh gosh. Come on. Come on. Now I have um, tried to pick it up and uh, take it all the way back to my base. Throw it in the plank or in the uh, the sawmills. Still doesn't work. It doesn't do anything for you. All right, these are just way too big. I'm just I'm just gonna chop these off. Chop that off right there. Now, are you balanced on there? Are you New Balance 479s? New Balance. That's a, that's a shoe joke for all you shoe enthusiasts out there. <laughs> uh, cores. And no, I don't know sneakers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh, no, no, that's the, oh. Still just too, too much. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this, please. And, oh gosh. Are you bumping me? Day. There we go. So let's grab uh, let's grab some big chunks of wood. We don't have to have a lot. We have to have enough to register it. That hey, I've got uh, cherry wood in here. There's one. There's two. That should be good. Cherry tree. Should we grab an oak as well? No elm. Elms are way too big. But I mean, you could, you could essentially do an elm, but this is what, uh, this is what I do. I, I go through and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what happens if I put other kinds of wood inside the drop off. Ah, oh, look at that. I have, I have cherry fire wood. I, I wish we could take this wood now. Like once it gets planked, it turns into a specialty wood, like a firewood of some kind. Could you imagine having walls? Uh, on your base that were on fire. Devaldio, new idea for uh, for 2020. This base is on fire. This base is on fire. <laughs> the base, the base, the base is on fire. All right, keep going, keep going. Ooh, it popped. Sorry. So for those of you that have been with me for a quite some time and you watch my videos and stuff like that, um, am I still as calm as the day I started? Or have I, have I changed in some way? Am I still as interesting? You know what? I don't need validation. It's fine. Because <laughs> I, I really do. I worry about that stuff all the time. Like, am I really boring or am I just really calm? because I've been doing this for a while and I don't want to become one of those YouTubers that like just thinks I can come in here and throw whatever I want onto the internet and be like, yeah, people will love it because they love me, brah. Well, kinda. That's not, it's not how it's supposed to work. It's how some YouTubers get away with it. Man, I'm just saying. There we go. So this should be Oak Fire. Ooh, it's really bright. <gasps> Oak fire! Notice the difference. It looks changed. So, there's... Uh, where's the pine? Oh, can I can I fling stuff out of here? Oh my goodness, it's nice and bright. Nice. I haven't seen it since the new lighting. So, 
All right, let's get the cherry wood in there. What does what does glow wood look like? I wonder. Ooh, pretty cherry wood. Look at that. But it's cherry wood on fire. So I guess if it's a certain certain kind of tree, it it does a different length or something. I don't I don't know. Maybe we should go. Should we go grab some glow fur and see what happens when we toss glow fur into it? I mean, we're already at 15 minutes, so technically I'm supposed to end the episode, but I don't want to. I'm having fun, and I like experiments like this. So let's grab uh, let's grab a big chunk of yellow or uh, glow f glow food, and let's grab a big chunk of um, end times and blue wood. So glow for end times blue wood. We need to have big blocks of them. Ooh, it's blue wood. Always to spook wood on experimentation. Yay, experiments. What if I unlocked like some super Saiyan haircut or something like that because I'm doing this? That'd be amazing. I'd be like, Super Saiyan, come me on me on end times axe. running around the server going, Hadouken! <laughs> what was it, Street Fighter? No, it's... Never mind. Okay, there's... One. Oh, come on, come on. There's two. And... Three. Those are, those are some pretty good chunks. There we go. We got uh, ice wood. <gasps> Does ice wood burn? Can we, can we burn... Whoa. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a pretty good chunk. I might grab two more just in case. Two. Three. All right. Uh, we need some end times. Oh, that's a oh that's a big piece. That's a oh that's two pieces. My bad. Okay. There's one. We'll grab that other one too. There's two. Two pieces. Glow, uh, not glow fur. This is uh, sinister, and that is that is a big piece. That's a big one, right there. That's a big one. And what did I say? Spook. All right, I'll just push this one. It's it's massive. All right. Oh wait, am I in the wrong truck? <gasps> I'm in the wrong truck. That's okay. We can we can swap out. Oh no, I'm stuck on the thing. <laughs> Alright. Now, get in there. Ali oop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's lower that. There we go. Upsie daisy. There you go, Henry. Buford. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Make a wish. <laughs> Someday my wish will come. No, that's not my prince. My prince will come. That's the uh, Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. Nah, darn her. No, that's that is Snow White, not Sleeping Beauty. Oh my goodness, that is a big piece. Okay, that's that's good. That's good one. All right. Let's take this one. Boom. Uh-oh. Get in there. Get, get in there. Let's go ahead and shut this door. Please shut. That door is not going to shut. It's like, no, I do not shut. <laughs> this is the Russian truck. You don't shut doors. The door shuts you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I saw the funniest meme the other day. It was like, uh, uh, it was a wolf or something, and there was this guy, like, pointing at it and yelling, and he was getting all mad, getting all mad, right? And the wolf 
jumped out to strike and the hand just goes BAM like slaps the wolf in the face and I'm like oh no poor pupper and then the caption reads that is a wolf it is not a domestic dog uh, no no that is a uh, a wild animal it's not domestic uh, if you if you don't leave it alone uh, it could go wild at any time please get the wolf away from the, the Russian <laughs> Talk, talking about the never mind it was funnier than the joke blue wood first let's go we oh what happened oh <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful. Look, look, it's like this beautiful blue wood, but it's not glowing. That's crazy. Can I, can I see it closer? Hmm. Okay, okay. All right, let's try some spook wood. Oh man, that is, that is heavy. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. In you go. Okay, that didn't work. Boom. Wee. Oh, wow. Wait, did that just turn out to be like cherry wood, kinda? It did, didn't it? Hold on, let's drop this. Get this out. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, we can go this way, we can go this way. Keep going, keep going, there we go. Now we're playing. So that's what spook wood looks like. Planked, or fire planked. It just looks like regular wood though. It looks like oak. That's crazy. I wonder if the blue wood looks like oak. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ice wood. Drop that in. I hope it was big enough to register. What? Oh, it is. <gasps> Look at it. It's like a it's like a light blue color. But it's still oak uh flavor. <laughs> wood grain flavor. Or uh, texture, <laughs> flavor. Mmm, <laughs> that tastes like ice wood. <laughs> That's <sighs> wow. All right, here we go. I'm I'm interested to see this one. Wait, is that it? Oh, it didn't. It didn't really change at all. It just kind of looks like cherry wood. Huh. Hmm. That's crazy because glow is a material like ice is a material, but their colors are kind of similar, right? For a second, that looked like a deer standing back there. I'm like, what's the deer doing over here? <laughs> Not that there's deer in Lumber Tycoon 2. All right, here we go. Ice wood. Let's go check out the ice wood. Ooh, that's a pretty wood. Look at that. gonna eventually explode out of here, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Wait. Oh, was that in times? That was in times. Okay, here goes the ice wood. Ice wood and ice wood. So the in times was pretty. Let's see what the ice wood turns into. Those are those are them right there. Just like a lighter blue. Hold on, can I drop my axe back here? And move stuff out. Oh, 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 I'm lifting things, I'm lifting things. Get out, get out. Get out.
Ooh, I hear I hear things hitting. Okay. Ooh, I hear a I hear a like a siren off in the background somewhere. Not in lumber in in real life. Hope everybody's okay. Well, Code, if you're hearing sirens, they're probably not okay. I know, but you know what I mean. I hope it's not super serious. I hope everybody's... Uh oh I'm stuck. <gasps> I am stuck! I can no longer get out. No! Let me out, let me out, let me out. Alright, there we go. Let's go. We got, we got one more, right? So... Here goes the yellow wood, aka the glofer. Last last wood of the set. And again, I thought that was a deer. There we go. And last one, last one. There we go. Good. Alright. Oh, there it is. Bright yellow. Bright yellow. With flames. <laughs> so that's uh that's the coolness of the cabinet cab cabinet it's the cabinet uh, that's the coolness of the cabin is if you were to toss a whole bunch of wood inside there it'd turn into this firewood and each one is relative to its its kind of wood cherry wood turns into the same color only with uh, like all the grains turn to this oak color but they no this oak texture but they retain their original color so their size and density changes as well. But if you liked this video, you'll love some of the other ones I got on my channel. I got a ton of videos. Uh, and I know that like half of you aren't even subscribed. So that subscribe button down there, all right? There's a lot of people that smash subscribe buttons every day and you can help by gently pressing one of the buttons and showing the subscribe button that it does not need to be smashed. No, no hitting, no punching that smash the, the, the like button or the uh, subscribe button in the face ever again. We could save so many clicks. So please hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and subscribe, and do all those cool things. Did I just say hit? Don't hit. Just click. Gently tap. That's all you need. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.